so hey guys how are you hope everything is going well and good so i am pallo back with another video so today in this video we are going to see how we can actually discover hidden content of any website so in this video you will learn how to find out all the hidden directories of any website uh, so in this video we are going to utilize using some good tool like fof and we are going to utilize using directory search so in this video you will learn how to find out and you will definitely learn something new so please stay tuned uh, the search we can say directory search which is really a fast and good tool uh, i recommend you you can use if you are doing bug bounty hunting or if you are doing penetration testing against your targeted website okay so this tool definitely help you to find out all the hidden directories and we can say content discovery of our targeted website so which is actually developed uh, using um, python and why actually directory search directory search is a cli uh, based tool which actually brute force all the possible directories against our website um, by specify uh, some word list we can also um, define our word list and this also help automate uh, word list okay we don't need to supply word list specifically okay so um, this is a really good tool which is actually developed by python so we you must need to install python uh, before run this tool okay uh, which actually accept uh, python 3 okay um, so now uh, why actually we use uh, this tool really fast um, easy and simple to use and multi-trading and uh, we have uh, some response method and we can say request data and we have um, different advantage uh, why we actually use uh, the search and the main thing is uh, we can verify all the directory structure uh, and their response okay we can say 2003003002 uh, which is really helpful uh, to verify the structure of the code and we can uh, verify easily okay mm, so now uh, we have extension phase uh, where we can actually define extension like a php spx jsp or json xml okay so that may really help uh, in our testing phase uh, we can use and we can utilize uh, using a security list uh, which is actually a uh, payload uh, i'm going to show you but um, this uh, tool uh, we, we don't need to actually um, define any specific uh, word list uh, so we can uh, simply so this also automation uh, without any word list but we can also define our uh, our word list okay mm, so for installation process uh, we can simply do a git clone okay so we know how we simply do git clone i have already uh, set up the search in my system in, so i'm currently i'm using kali machine okay so simply go um, inside uh the search okay mm, okay so now uh, we are in directory search uh, folder okay so now we have um, now we i already uh, make this uh, executable if uh, you must need to do executable using ch mode if it's not okay so yeah um, let's see uh, now we are going to uh, for our testing purpose we are going to use uh, test uh, php boolean web uh, who is actually basically used for uh, example we can say uh, for our testing purpose okay because this is not good we are going to hunt on some live website and this is uh, not good so i'm going to show you on uh, our vulnerable web application okay uh, i have already set up uh, you can simply go through their github mm, it, this is actually simply a simple installation process you can simply done it by yourself so now we have to go and we have to define python 3 because this uh, developed by python so uh, we, are, we have to go and python 3 and run our tool and you uh, have an you mm, which actually defined as our url okay so our target url uh, that's why we use you so we can simply um, we can simply check um the help you know, using help command what actually specification 
we can use uh, against our targeted website how actually this tool work actually okay so yeah now simply go uh, like um, use a python 3 and dancers and hyphen ace uh, which actually give us all the structure how we can actually utilize on uh, this tool okay uh, so um, if you have any doubt uh, if you have any doubt in installation process you can simply comment me uh, in my comment box I, I i'll definitely help you to go through it okay so now uh, we have uh, this all the um, we can say this all the uh, headers uh, we can say all the um, how we can actually utilize uh, in this tool okay so yeah now we must need uh, we must need to define our target website uh, we can say our targeted domain okay so now u hyphen u uh, which we actually use for as a url and i'm going to define e e mean extension okay so extension i'm going to brute force against uh, some extension like dot php dot json and dot xml um, and dot html okay so you can define uh, what extension you actually you actually want to brute force so this is really helpful uh, actually time consuming okay now it start uh, to brute force all the directory structure uh, against our targeted website so this will take a little time but not so so yes you need to wait uh, a little bit uh, for a result so now we got uh, a result um, as a 200 or uh, 301 so yeah we, we, we can see the status code and and status code and directories of our targeted website okay so we got uh, 301 and 200 200 mean yeah everything is okay maybe this directory is available on their respected domain so we can simply uh, verify uh, by see um, simply go through this directory structure and simply um, you can check it out uh, what actually sensitive data or information available um, inside this um, directory okay so this tool really helpful if you are doing bug bounty hunting this tool definitely give you lots of good stuff in my case i in my bug bounty hunting hunting journey i use this tool daily and i got um, i got some sensitive data exposure i got uh, i i found sometime debug parameter which um, really uh, you know um, that debug parameter which really uh, good for bug bounty uh, i found in good uh, website using debug uh, okay so okay now um, just we can simply either simply copy that also we got some xml file from the directory structure okay so uh, it will brute force all the possible directories and we can simply say like all the um, we also got some uh, 403 response that means we are unable to access those directory yeah now we can simply verify um, all the directory structure of our targeted website right okay so um, just wait and simply go through this 403 and let's see what uh, information we got uh, okay um, cvi bin directory um, okay so we got for forbidden that we are unable to access this directory but this uh, but this um, exposing uh, their uh, server version okay so we can also go through their cve uh, using uh, these types of vulnerability yeah now we found some vulnerabilities uh, like uh, uh, the server version so you have to wait uh, till uh, it will brute force all the possible directories maybe it will brute force minimum uh, like uh, as you can also define your uh, directory um, structure okay so i uh, simply skip this okay now hope you learned uh, this um, how we can actually use a uh, dark search okay so now we are going to use a uh, fof so now next uh, we are going to utilize our uh, content discovery phase using foof foof is really a best uh, speed uh, fast web fuser tool which is good for all the website directories and hidden content discovery of our targeted web application 
and you know i already discussed it's work like darsas but um, this uh, more good than darsas uh, but uh, in my case i actually use only this two tool darsas and foof okay so i'm going through installation process how to install uh, successfully foof okay um, you can simply do uh, get um, go uh, you can simply clone it from uh, repository okay uh, but before you must need to download uh, go link but in my case i am um, i i will go through i will go through the um, version okay so that's why i download the gz uh, okay so now uh, i simply download um, download it uh, we have done so we can simply go through go get and you, you can simply do this and you can simply move it to your uh, bin folder um, but um, you can simply follow my step um, which is really good and easy so yeah we, um, i recommend you we can use foof which is really a fast uh, web fuser tool uh, for content discovery if you are doing bug bounty hunting uh, or testing your uh, website uh, against your client so this tool may really help you okay so now uh, what we have to do we have to go through tar uh, like uh, x okay so we have to simply run um, this command okay this command um, that means we are going to extract the file okay uh, now we have successfully extract uh, our executable file and uh, now we have to move um, this to bin folder okay so i'm going to move a uh, foop to my bin folder uh, then we can simply run so we don't need to go through any other process so we can simply run uh, after then it okay uh, so now i'm going to uh, move it to my bin folder so yeah so before it i have to go for sudo because now i'm doing so now i mean as a super user okay mm, so yeah so now we have simply uh, installed so i have successfully installed uh, uh, you can go through this process okay so simple foof is and we have a different header and we can use uh, we can utilize our testing phase we can also capture all the requests in our uh, barb uh, using our local proxy setting okay so and that actually foof help us to discover all the content we can also capture all the requests um, in our barb suite okay but I'm going to show you the example how you can actually utilize how to use actually foop and this tool so I so I simply go through this so I think I did not um, show you like uh, in deeply how to utilize in more deeply so as a basic as a beginner you can simply run foop uh, using this method okay and so now um, what uh, we have to simply go through like um, payload uh, because here we must need to define our payload okay so payload uh, you can use different payload like payload master uh, we have security list and you can also create your own payload um, to brute force against our targeted website okay so here for for um, for example i simply i i will simply copy some directory structure to show you how to actually we can run foof so you must need to verify your word list so no matter you can also use 2 million 3 million word list uh, to boot force against our targeted website okay uh, so security list uh, has a good payload structure you can simply use and you can simply a uh, git clone you can simply download full zip folder um, okay but in our case we are simply uh, i will simply show you how to actually utilize foop so that's why i will simply copy all the uh, all the payload uh, which we are going to brute force against our target okay and i will simply create a file um, like uh, i will cover this payload in my file uh, like word list dot txt okay so i will create a, a file you know, like okay with mkdir okay so security list uh, okay simply go through uh, like nano okay 
so you know and your like simply go and simply give extension txt okay so now simply paste uh, all the payload uh, as an example but you can simply clone all the payload and you can simply run foof against your target okay uh, so wait uh, I because this mm, uh, this list the list is very big so maybe uh, this uh, really <laughs> hanging sometimes so okay no, no issue uh, we will go through with some basic payload no issue mm, okay so yeah wait mm, okay uh, yeah okay so uh, i am going to throw some some basic payload so i, I will copy only uh, um, 50 or 100 payload uh, for our testing purpose um, that i can show you uh, how to uh, use foof okay okay don't worry in next video i will definitely come with some good um, good uh, good uh, deep list taxa how can actually um, how can we actually hunt using foof how can we actually discover all the website content okay using foof but this video only for basic guide that you can learn uh, how can actually we can use it so now we have our Mm, what list is that, sir? Uh, for our uh, testing purpose for boot forcing all the directories using foof okay so mm, here you don't need to do anything so simply go through foof okay so now we have uh, our target website mm, then how to run foof uh, you can simply go through this also uh, for what list we have to define w and for you uh, we have to def define u okay uh, so um, okay foof and w uh, which define uh, our specify word list okay so now we have specified our word list and u for url but make sure uh, you have to give uh, extension like fourth foos okay so this will brute force uh, against the foos uh, foos pot full spot okay we can say full spot so okay okay sorry so i ha i have not defined the fudge so you have to define fudge uh to uh, brute force against the pot okay so you must need to define force okay so now okay so now it, it start so in a time consuming this is really a time consuming so we got two core structure like CGI bin which, which we already verified in the search mm, and we have also some image directories uh, let's open it uh, hope there is something uh, structure for us uh, let's see mm, okay so now mm, we got a directory listing from our targeted website so yeah this is how we can actually utilize uh, we have content discovery using some good tool i show you fast uh, using faf and i i i show you also darsar so hope you learn something new in this video uh, for next uh, i will come with some another topic so till then stay connect and bye bye see you take